Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you yet again with a, another uh, green light box unboxing video. And uh, as usual, we're going to have two cases or two sets of green light to take a look at. We've got uh, green light muscle series 22, and then we've got Hollywood series 24. So which one should we do first? Let's do Muscle Series 22. All right, so these cases um, were provided by my buddy Dicastrum. Um, if you want the backstory on that, you can check out the previous episodes. Uh, they are in the Green Light Collectibles playlist. All right, so anyway, we're going to get into these cases. There is a chance of a green machine in here. I'm going to cut this one open. And we're hoping for a greenie. Uh, so far, what I've opened six cases before today and we've scored four green machines. So that's pretty good um, odds. These cases, by the way, were ordered from 3000toys.com, but I believe also my local hobby uh, dealer, I see Diecast, uh, may have some of these series too. So if you want to check them out on uh, Facebook, uh, do so. And uh, you might be able to pick these up from them as well. All right, so 1968 Plymouth Roadrunner Hemi. So GL Muscle Series 22. It's a very nice looking Roadrunner. I've got a bunch of examples of this casting in my collection, so this is not one that I would pick up at the moment just because I've got a bunch of them. So, but a pretty cool card on the last in silver. Um, we'd like to take a look here just to see what the number is. The number is 7816 on the bottom of this thing. Uh, this is kind of a fairly older tooling from Greenlight. It's tooling number 29. So there's a ton of variations of this out there, of this casting. But this one looks really good, nice and clean. Um, no, you know, no weird graphics or anything like that. Just a nice stock looking car and uh, very good. All right, so there's the first one in the set. Uh, second one, one at random here. We get a green machine. <laughs> Uh, it's unbelievable. That is seriously unbelievable. Like, I don't understand how lucky we're getting. Or maybe green machines are not that rare. I don't know. But that is crazy. And that's a cool one, man. That is really cool. So this is number 3902. Uh, green body green machine. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a green machine, right? Yeah, it's definitely that emerald green color. And I don't... I don't know, however... I don't remember what the what color of the car actually is. I think it's like yellow or something like that. But look at that. Green body, green machine. I love the green body, green machines. I think they're so cool in comparison to getting the green uh, rims and green base. Man, that is some luck. Seven cases now, five green machines. There's only two cases that we've, that we've opened so far that have been duds. All right, the next one is the 1970 Mercury Cougar Eliminator. That is cool. I really like this uh, new casting from Greenlight. This one you get in white. Looks very good. They have a complete uh, lensed insert for the, the big uh, taillight assembly there. That's a really cool one. So this is a brand new tooling for 2019 from Greenlight. And uh, it's quite awesome. Uh, number on the bottom of this one is 446. So a pretty low number. Under 500. All right. Next up, we got the Chevy Monte Carlo SS454. I believe that this is also a new tooling. This is 1303 is the number. And the tooling number is 167. So this is definitely a newer tooling. Um, so Greenlight has just been... Putting out the toolings. Um, just tons of new toolings have been coming out from Greenlight. And that's awesome because they just there's always something new um, to see from them. They usually put out new toolings and they put them on a ton of colors, but uh, right away. So don't if you want to get a new tooling, you don't have to necessarily jump at the first one you see because you know they're going to come out with uh, a few more colors of it. So you're going to have some options. Um, so that is pretty cool. I did not pick this one up. Um, I don't know if I picked... Oh, I did pick up one car from the series that's coming up here. I did grab one. Here it is. 
the Ford F-150 Lightning. This is the one I got for my own collection from SC Diecast at our local last local meet. I picked one of these up, or not the last one, but the one before it. I picked one of these up. So this is also a new tooling uh, from Greenlight. It's pretty cool. This one, however, it has a plastic base, which is kind of weird. Um, number 6117 on the bottom of that car. It's it's awesome. I mean, I'm glad they're doing the, the Lightning. It's a cool truck. And this tooling is used for more than just the F-150 Lightning. It's used for all the different versions of that F-150, that 90s F-150. So, um, I don't know. It's just weird that they, they decided to tool it with a plastic base. Ooh, and this one, I'm looking at the bottom. It looks like... Oh, maybe not. I thought maybe the rivets actually punched through the plastic. It's hard to see there, but... That's weird. I don't know if you're going to take that out. The base is going to fall right off. All right. Last one in this um, set is the 68 Chevy Copo Camaro. So they've released a ton of versions now of the 68 and 69 um, Camaro. Um, it's a nice it's a nice tooling. Uh, this one's pretty nice looking in uh, black with some white uh, striping. It's number 3211. Yeah, I'd say that's a good look for this car. That is pretty cool. All right, so one greenie. One case, one greeny so far. Let's go ahead and open up this Hollywood case. This Hollywood case is a little weird. It's like a, the case is slightly larger than your normal green light box for some reason. And the cars are like kind of loose in there. Which is kind of interesting. It has the green light tape on it. One layer of tape. So it doesn't look like there's any tomfoolery going on here. And obviously it's the right series. It's printed right on the side. So picking them out. Alright, so the first one we get is the 210 Townsman. Um, I believe I did pick this one up. I think I did. When I grabbed a couple of these cars. Um, I think I did pick this one up. I'm pretty sure I did. It's cool though. Um, this one's got, it's a fairly new tooling. It's got painted headlights. This one does have a metal base. It's number 1773 is the number on the bottom of the car. Well, it's from the Vanishing Point. This is the movie that it's from. And there's the back of the car in case you want to see it. So, pretty cool. They put out a ton of Hollywood releases a year. It's crazy. Um, next one is the A-Team Jeep CJ7. Looks pretty cool. I don't know if I have this tool. I think I need an example of this tool yet. Yeah. There's a look at the back of the card quick. Very decent. I'm just not super into Jeeps. Uh, uh, this one I definitely picked up. This is the 1967 Pontiac GTO convertible for MacGyver, which looks like, like the modern day MacGyver. Not the MacGyver, I know. Um, that's an awesome GTO though. Number on the bottom of this one. Ooh, 20. It's number 20. It's a really low number. Not that that number really matters. This one is 2151. I forgot to point that one out. It's just, I don't know. Some people are into the numbers. I just, I think it's kind of fun just to, just to at least peek at them just to see if there's something in there. It'd be cool to get the first one. And no, green machines are not always low numbers. So... And here is this, the 1970 Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser. I still don't have a version of this casting. I have to get one. And I've been passing them up. I didn't really like the colors the first two came out in. And I don't know if I really like these colors or not. And I'm not sure if this is really appropriate for National Lampoon's Vacation. Was this in the, in the movie or, or what? I don't know. I don't think so. But eh, they released it. They had the licensing for it. They released it. So uh, there it is. Eh, it looks pretty good. All right, we're down to 
two more cars here. This one's sweet. So you got the Plymouth Fury Evil version, the Christine. So this is the one with the blacked out windows. This is Christine in beast mode. And uh, here's a look at the card art. Card art's kind of nice because it's got like a foil um, printing. So that's pretty cool. How do you kill something that can't possibly be alive? Awesome movie. Um, cool version of the car. Still think the Auto World one's a little bit better, but uh, I have this one, and uh, it's pretty cool too. <laughs> All right, lastly, last car. Is it going to be a greenie? No, it's not. It is the Independence Day 1971 Chevrolet C10. Uh, this one's pretty cool. It's got rust all over it. It's a nice rusty weathered look. I almost picked this one up and I didn't. And now I'm kind of regretting it. I kind of like it. I kind of like that it's rusty and stuff like that. I think that was pretty cool. So just look at the back of the card. I don't know. It's pretty neat. All right, let me know what you guys think about both of these series. Um, obviously, the highlight here is going to be getting that green machine. That's a really cool tooling, too, that brand new tooling for the Mustang 2019 Musty must must ah, must it must it blah 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 2019 Ford Shelby 3 GT 350 R that's very cool I wish I knew what color it actually was I think it was yellow I think it was yellow that one's another cool one uh, I didn't pick that one up. I picked up the yellow Cougar Eliminator. I should have picked that one up, too. It's really nice looking. I did pick this one up, and I passed on the others. But, uh, yeah, I think out of these, out of the, I, I still, I think maybe I will grab this one sometime. It's a pretty cool one. Um, this is the highlight of that case for me, not because of MacGyver, but because of the GTO. And I'm a fan of GTOs, so you should know that if you watch the channel. All right, so anyway, that's going to be it for this uh, case unboxing. We scored another green machine. So we're up to, what did I say, five green machines out of so five out of eight? Oh, man, now I'm losing it. Yeah, I think, yeah, five out of eight. So five cases out of eight so far that we've opened have had green machines. So pretty cool. So I don't know when the next one of these is coming. If he orders more cases and has them shipped to my house, uh, we will do this again. We'll keep doing it. So it's pretty awesome. Greenlight puts out a lot of stuff. If he continues to get those cases shipped to me, uh, we'll keep uh, unboxing them here on the channel. So thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, check out the Greenlight playlist. Uh, you can see the videos in there. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And have yourself a good day.